If you want to add advanced capabilities to your JS apps without having to code everything from scratch, you might be on the lookout for something like Vertica Studio Workflow. In this tech tip video, we'll be taking a first glance at what it can do. Let's dive in. For those of you who are new to it, Vertica Studio Workflow is a web-based designer that allows you to configure custom widgets using a flexible flowcharts-based interface with minimal coding. You can drag and drop different components to build custom tools that can be deployed to GIS applications like Vertica Studio Web, Vertica Studio Mobile, ArcGIS Experience Builder, and ArcGIS Pro. Some major perks of Vertica Studio Workflow are a reduction in development time thanks to its modular nature, a drag and drop interface that allows you to visualize complex tasks, and the ability to automate and customize end user experiences. It can also be configured to run server side functions, such as querying databases or writing files. For advanced users, there is also the option to leverage the SDK to go even further with Vertica Studio Workflow. To get started, let's take a peek at some of what it can do. Here's a Vertica Studio web app geared towards a municipal government. Let's say we want to generate a report on several tax parcels in the area. This app happens to include a tax parcel search workflow that we can use. When we run it, a form comes up asking the user how they would like to select the parcels. We'll use the default search by parcel ID option. As you can see, the workflow populates this autocomplete box with possible choices as I type. Clicking the search button returns parcel information and allows us to set a buffer. Let's set a buffer of 10 meters to select some of the neighboring parcels. Now we can choose to customize our report. Let's include property information, assessment charts, and building information on all the parcels we selected. Now, we just have to wait for the workflow to get the report back from Vertica Studio Reporting. Once the report has been generated, we can view it directly in the browser, or we can even send it as an email attachment. The majority of this tool is contained within just one workflow. This is what it looks like when we open it up in Vertica Studio Workflow's designer interface. For something a bit more beginner-friendly, let's have a look at a tool you can build in just a few clicks. Let's say we want a visual representation of the radial distance from a given point. The designer comes preloaded with some useful basic templates. The buffer geometry template should suit our needs. As you can see, there is a chain of activities that starts with a form and ends with adding a graphic. I've gone ahead and added it to a Vertica Studio web app so we can see it in action. When we run it, the form from the start of the workflow appears. We can pick a location, set a distance, select the units, and it draws a circle on the map. Now, let's say we want to change the form slightly by offering the user a list of predefined distances to choose from instead of having them type in a value. We can go back into Workflow Designer and open up the display form activity. We'll replace the existing number and drop-down list elements with a radio group element and call it radial distance. Let's configure the labels and values to 50 meters, 100 meters, 250 meters, and 500 meters. Now we need to update the buffer geometry activity to reflect the changes we made. We'll set the distance to the value of the radio group element. Set the units to meters. And save the workflow. This time, when we run it in the app, our form gives a predefined list of options instead of having the user type in a value, and the rest of the workflow executes as usual. As you can see, with Vertica Studio Workflow, you can create tailored widgets in just a few clicks. And with a library of over 200 pre-built activities that you can chain together in countless combinations, who knows what you'll create next?